keep up with life's challenges. Humankind grapples with life's experiences. But a smile when victory is in sight. Affirms the soothing conquest strides. God will put a smile on your face. It's that time of the year to secure God's promises for your needed victory. I will see your blind eyes open. That cancer and that swelling, I will see it removed out of your body in Jesus' name. The smile this August. Even before the prayer, the power will operate in your life. Now's your time to rise and smile. And of course, when we come to the final, amen. To my right, to my left, and online. You will never be the same again in Jesus' name. An August visitor this August. He is the GCK Kavina, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumuyi. He comes in triumphant power by Christ's redemption, ministering along with our guest music minister, Cornelius Cross. The sun will shine from the Sunshine State, live from Anglican Grammar School, Ondo State, Southwest Nigeria. That's the location for the next Global Crusade, 25th to 30th August, 2022. 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT Sunday worship service. It's a GCK gift. Something from heaven. A gift from heaven. Great Grace from heaven, power from heaven. Package just for you. Every man, every woman, every child, youth and young adults and broadcast to the world live. Their satellite, social media, radio and television. All the states of Nigeria, all the countries of Africa, America, Asia, Australia, Canada, Euro, Caribbean, in the Arab world, everywhere. Put a smile on every face. So join us. And let GCK take you higher as we triumph through Christ's redemptive hour. is marching forward in the month of March to a location where oil was first discovered and is now your location for the discovery of full redemption. March with us for unfettered peace, giving salvation. Match with us for limited access, dealing with every situation. Match with us for untapped resources and get drenched in the oil of solution. God's General, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumuyi has given the signal. The Lord said it shall come to pass. Healing shall come to pass. Miracles shall come to pass. Deliverance shall come to pass. And when you hear the final amen, it has come to pass. Message received, sir. Signaling full redemption for all through Christ. March 24 to March 29, 2022. Live at the glory of all lands by Yelsa State, South South Nigeria. And live on satellite, social media platforms, radio and television stations across the world. Ministry through songs is a pioneer worship leader, Kurt Derman. Full redemption for one and all, across all faces and races, connecting the global crusade. No matter how great, how big your problem is, we have a Christ, a Savior, a Redeemer that will set you free because he has unlimited power. Come for your full redemption global crusade. March with us. bringing us here. Thank you because, Lord, of your favor, your mercies upon us. Thank you for how you've been with us. Thank you because we know you have brought us here to do us good. We pray and ask that your goodness we all see tonight in Jesus' name. As we sing, we pray that the hosts of heaven will join us in singing. the decision to come. And then he saw Goliath. He made up his mind. I am going to conquer Goliath. Every Goliath of your life you will conquer. So he began to discuss so that he can make a way to get there. 
And then his brother said, no, you can't. What are you doing here? He left him alone. The people that have not made up their minds and they want to set you back, leave them alone. When the victory comes, they will run after you. Saul said, you cannot. David said, yes, I can. I can. What are you? I can. I can. They said, you cannot. I say, King said, you cannot. I say, your brother said you cannot. I say, you want to go to deeper life. You of all people, you cannot. And I say, let them hear. Let the heavens hear. I can't. I'm telling you, I can. I'm telling you, I can. The same soul that said you cannot, when you win. Lord, let your name be praised in Jesus' name. In this evening, I pray and ask that, Lord, you will renew our strength to your, through your word in Jesus' name. And help us that we will know more about you so that our lives will be victorious all through the days of our lives in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel.
There's room at the cross for you. There's room at the cross for you. Though millions have come, there's still room for all. Yes, there's room at the cross for you. There's room at the cross for you. He died on the cross, he died on the cross, Jesus died on the cross for you, for you. Jesus died on the cross for you, he died on the cross. Jesus died on the cross. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for you. Wonderful to know. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for you. Wonderful. To know, to know, it is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful to know, it is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. It is the word that sets you free. It is the word that sets you free. It is the word, the word of God. It is the word that sets you free, that sets you free. Sets me free.
that sets you free. from number gospel hymns and songs number 32 gospel hymns and songs number 32 heaven came down oh what a wonderful wonderful day there I will never forget after I wandered in darkness away Jesus my savior I met oh what a tender compassionate friend he met the need of my heart Shadows dispelling, with joy I am telling, he made all the darkness depart. Born of the Spirit, with light from above, in God's family divine, justified fully through Calvary's love, oh, what a standing is mine! And the transaction so quickly was made, when a sinner I came, took of the offer of grace, he did proffer. He saved me, oh praise his dear name. Now I have a hope that will surely endure. After the time, passing of time, I have future in heaven for sure. There, in those mansions sublime. And it is because of that wonderful day when at the cross I believed riches eternal and blessings supernal from the precious hand I received. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. When at the cross, the Savior made me whole. My sins were washed away and my night was turned today. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul.
we just have a moment of prayer. Father, we're asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your words today. We're asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, Teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. Genesis chapter 25. Genesis chapter 25. Then again Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. And she bare him Zimran, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And Jokshan begat Sheba, and Dedan, and the sons of Dedan were Ashuram, and Latushim, and Laomim, and the sons of Midian, Ephah, and Ephah, and Hanak, and Abida, and Eldea, all these were the children of Keturah. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac, but unto the sons of the concubines, which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts, and sent them away from Isaac his son, while he yet lived eastward unto the east country. And these are the days of the years of Abraham's life which he lived, an hundred threescore and fifteen years. Then Abraham gave up the ghost and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and was gathered to his people. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zoar the Hittite, which is before Mamre, the field which Abraham purchased of the sons of Heth, there was Abraham buried, and Sarah his wife. And it came to pass after the death of Abraham that God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac dwelt by the well Lehiroi. Now these are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, bare unto Abraham. And these are the names of the sons of Ishmael, by their names according to their generations. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nebajoth, and Kedar, and Adbeel, and Mibsam, and Mishma, and Duma, and Massa, Hadar, and Tema, Jeta, Naphish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names, by their towns, and by their castles, twelve princes according to their nations. And these are the years of the life of Ishmael, an hundred and thirty and seven years. And he gave up the ghost and died, and was gathered unto his people. And they dwelt from Havilah unto Shur, that is before Egypt, as thou goest toward Assyria, and he died in the presence of all his brethren. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son, Abraham begat Isaac. And Isaac was forty years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padan Aram, the sister to Laban the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife, because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder 
shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red, all over like an hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was threescore years old when she bare them. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau, because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob sawed pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he sware unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up, and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you are blanched in the word of God. In Jesus' name we pray.
My burden seems so heavy, my troubles sometimes many, and there are times I feel hope is gone. But in my darkest heart, is my strong and my sister, and Jesus gives me strength to carry on. So I carry on, I carry on, until my cross becomes a crown. I carry on, I carry on, I carry on. Yes. We fight to keep up with life's challenges. Humankind grapples with life's experiences. But a smile when victory is in sight. Affirms the soothing conquest strides. God will put a smile on your face. It's that time of the year to secure God's promises for your needed victory. I will see your blind eyes open. That cancer and that swelling, I will see it removed out of your body in Jesus' name. The smile this August. Even before the prayer, the power will operate in your life. Now's your time to rise and smile. And of course, when we come to the final, amen. To my right, to my left, and online. You will never be the same again in Jesus' name. An August visitor this August. He's the GCK Kavina, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumuyi. He comes in triumphant power by Christ's redemption, ministering along with our guest music minister, Cornelius Cross. The sun will shine from the Sunshine State live. 
from Anglican Grammar School, Ondo State, Southwest Nigeria. That's the location for the next Global Crusade, 25th to 30th August 2022. 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT Sunday worship service. It's a GCK gift. Something from heaven. A gift from heaven. Grace from heaven. Power from heaven. Package just for you. Every man, every woman, every child, youth and young adults and broadcast to the world live via satellite, social media, radio and television. All the states of Nigeria, all the countries of Africa, America, Asia, Australia, Canada, Europe, Caribbean, in the Arab world, everywhere. Put a smile on every face. So join us. And let GCK take you higher as we triumph through Christ's redemptive hour. Each on the Lord Jesus Christ because the people that went to them preaching, they were not apologetic. They were not fearful. They were not timid. They were not looking at faces before they preached. They actually gave unto them their saving truth. And they said, there's no other way. That's what the Lord has called us now to do. Earnestly preaching Christ the Savior. What does that entail? As the Lord is raising you up, raising us up to honestly preach Christ as Savior, as Savior of every individual you see on the street, as Savior of every family you encounter. A savior of every relative of yours. That's the only savior. A savior of the schoolmates in your school. A savior of every neighbor that you may encounter. Jesus is the only savior. All those people you see, any of those people you see, if they are not saved by Christ, they'll be forever lost. Jesus is the only way for them to go to heaven. And if they do not know the way, that's why you need to show them that way. If they do not know the way, they'll be lost forever in the suffering of hell and the lake of fire. You're not just looking to bring somebody to church, bring somebody to us fellowship. It's not like, what do you think? Is it all right? Don't you think believing in the Lord Jesus Christ will do you some good? You know, there are lots of benefits. I can't begin to tell you now. But anyway, make up your mind. Go and think about it. Maybe you want to go back home and go and think about what I've been telling you. You're not doing that. What if, you know, it goes to think about it and before you meet him again, is dead, is gone to a lost eternity. The Lord is going to grant you greater grace to show the way to the people that are lost. I pray that God will give you a bright vision, a clear understanding of what you have that is enough to lead other people to the Lord. You will not fail. As I show all the people the way, they will find the way of salvation. The Lord is waiting for you to ask him of the power. Let him hear you pray. He will bless you and prepare you for a mighty revival of preaching salvation in Christ in Jesus' name. We have received another chart tonight. Let us all go before the Lord, committing ourselves to him. Pray that the Lord will give you the grace to preach the word of God with assurance and earnestness so that everyone you meet will be able to receive the word of salvation through you. Pray, commit yourself to the Lord in prayer. Let us pray that you will present Christ as the only Savior of every individual. We thank you for our Bible study.
Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the understanding. Thank you for keeping us healthy and alive that we can hear your word, understand your word, believe your word, apply your word, and be prepared for glory in heaven. We ask, O oh Lord, you grant us concentration and focus so that everything we hear will penetrate our heart, abide with us, and do good in every life. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Already you understand we've been studying from the epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Galatians. And these epistles clear up the way of grace, the way of the cross, and the way to salvation. He actually had been uh, correcting the notion of the Galatians and of the Jewish people. Many of them, after receiving the true saving gospel of Christ, they were going back to Judaism, to the law of Moses, to circumcision, and to all those rites and ceremonies of the old covenant depending on those things for their salvation. And now Paul the Apostle, inspired, led by the Spirit of the Lord, wanted to bring them back to the right way, the way of Christ and the way of the gospel, to abandon the law of Moses, abandon circumcision, abandon all the rites and ceremonies of the Jewish people. Uh, the Jewish dispensation and then come fully unto Christ and he continues now and in the passage we are reading he will be talking about illustration the allegory that image of the sons of Abraham and he spoke about the bondage at Sinai and then the freedom in Zion and it brings us out of the bondage of the law and brings us to the freedom that we have in Christ. And it talks about one son, then the other son. One son, nominal. One son, negligent. And one son, negated that could not get into the kingdom and then he talks about the other son new renewed reborn born again into the kingdom and so we come to the subject today the privilege of sons born after the spirit the privilege of sons born after the spirit we're starting from Galatians chapter 4, reading from verse 21. Tell me, ye that desire to be under the law, do ye not hear the law? Verse 22. For it is written, it's going to the scriptures, that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bond mage, the other by a free woman. Verse 23. But he that was born of the bond woman he who was of the bond woman was born after the flesh and he of the free woman was by promise then in verse 24 which things are an allegory an illustration a portrait a picture an allegory for these are the two covenants the one from Mount Sinai, which gendereth to bondage, which is Agar. And then verse 25, for this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, and answered to Jerusalem, which now is, and is in bondage with her children. It's talking about the Jewish people. And their capital was Jerusalem, Jerusalem on earth. And because they subjected themselves 
to the old covenant annulled cancelled but he didn't know he said now there in jerusalem and that jerusalem now is and it's in bondage with her children in verse 26 it says but jerusalem which is above is free is saying that there is another jerusalem the new jerusalem the one above the one that we get to by the redemption we have in Christ, by the grace we have in Christ. And he said that is above and it is free, which is the mother of us all, the mother that gave birth to us all. In verse 27, it says, For it is written, Rejoice thou barren that beareth not break forth and cry thou that travailest not for the desolate has many more children than she which has an husband verse 28 now we brethren as Isaac was are the children of promise verse 29 but as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit as then he that was born after the flesh born once persecuted him that was born after the spirit born twice born again even so it is now but start he then says nevertheless what says the scripture nevertheless what says the scriptures here paul is giving us an endless timeless principle that whatever you believe the question is what says the scripture are you believing in the law Moses don't do that what says the scripture are you trusting in your self effort to get to heaven don't do that what says the scriptures are you thinking your good works your righteous works your self-righteousness will get you to glory it says go check up in the scriptures what says the scriptures do you believe on the lord jesus christ and jesus alone by faith in him alone for you to get to heaven and then judaizers are coming to you and they're saying that is not enough don't listen to them the question you need to ask and answer is what says the scripture does somebody tell you that once you are born again it doesn't matter how you live you are free to act like you used to live that holiness is no more required don't reason with them what says the scriptures is it possible for me without salvation without holiness without purity of heart and then i live like i used to live and i will still get to heaven don't argue go back to the bible find out the question of getting to heaven is so important you cannot leave it to hear say you can leave, not leave it to i feel you cannot leave it to i think you must find out because all the opinions of men will vanish away. All the ideas and ideologies of men will vanish away. The only thing that was...